everybody, CEO Prepper here for the Survivor's Edge. And today we are going to uh, take a sneak peek inside Gander Outdoor and see what it's about. So let's get to it. Okay, for those of you that were fans of Gander Mountain, this is the reincarnation since uh, Gander Mountain's buyout by Campers World. Now, I personally, I personally came here one time, and I didn't care for it. Um, but um, that was when I first opened up. So you know, give it a little time, and you know, for them to work out the kinks. Um, so I figured, okay, let's give them a chance, you know, to work out the kinks, and um, you know, come back in and uh, check out what they got. And, um, you know, give you guys an idea of uh, what we're looking at and what kind of uh, items they sell. So we're looking at things as brands, price, uh, compared to other places we've seen things. Uh, is it worth the money? So on and so forth. Um, right now we're going through the bicycle section. Um, now, bicycles can be a prepper staple depending on uh, who you're asking I wholeheartedly believe in uh, having a bicycle because you never know you may uh, end up in a place where your car just won't be able to go um, in a disaster or you just simply need a bike um, to get somewhere very quietly uh, so um, here we have a lot of Fuji um, brand bikes. Um, they have the Fram, uh, I'm sorry, the Framed brand, Framed Elites, um, and Fuji. That's pretty much all I've been seeing so far. Um, that's the Framed and Fuji brands. Uh, looks like we also got another one called Bronco. And uh, that's it. So, um, some brands, uh, definitely brands I've never heard of in terms of bikes before, um, but that's okay. Um, I, some colors I don't tend to care for. Um, it looks like a pinkish red kind of color. Um, some of them are pretty good. Um, I don't know about the big old tires uh, for a mountain bike. Uh, I kind of like these more. Uh, now these bikes range anywhere from uh, that I've seen so far range from uh, roughly about the low twos to the um, well 1300 range. Um, they also have you know your um, surfboard and stuff like that. Uh, let's see, you got water bottles. Um, now, I did see a, uh, a tent when I walked in. A teepee tent, an eight person teepee tent. And they had a member's price for it. The member's price was 180 bucks. Regular price is 189 Not much of a discount, but hey, anything helps. Um, looking at some of the clothing they have. Um, kind of reminds me of uh, Dick's Sporting Goods a little bit. Um, and of course they have paddles for kayaks and more kayaks they have kayaks galore um, now I'm not a I'm not a big person that knows much about kayaks so um, anybody that knows anything about kayaks that just happens to watch this video um, take a look at this section very carefully and uh, let me know what you uh, think about um, their brands, if you know anything about these brands. Um, looks like we got a Perception Prodigy, uh, Big Fish, Sound, uh, ten eight, uh, I'm sorry, Perception Sound, uh, Pelican. Yeah, so if you guys know anything about some of these brands, please um, go ahead and make comments below. Like, again, I'm not going to sit there and 
give an opinion about something I really don't know that much about. Um, and kayaks will be one of them. Um, I will tell you the prices if you're catching these. Um, they're ranging anywhere from looks like 400 to as much as eight, nine hundred dollars. Uh, scratch that. I just saw some over here. They're about a thousand dollars. Flip around over here. Yeah, this one's a thousand dollars. The big fish one's twenty. So, um, let's see. We got looks like some. Uh, Camper tops, hard shells, um, the Yakima brand is pretty much what they have, um, all Yakima stuff, um, so if you wanted to buy a different brand, you're kind of out of luck, they only have this one brand of the hard shell tops. Um, now we're coming over to the, the um, camping bags uh, section. Now, this is interesting. Of course, North Face is high as hell at $99, but you got one next to it. Um, high Sierra, that's about 30 bucks. So, looking at the bags, got a pretty decent selection on the bags here. A lot of North Face, a um, lot of North Face. Um, Got some Columbias, High Sierras, a lot of Columbias. Uh, so it's a pretty good mix. Um, looks like we got Gregory's. Um, as we move through here, uh, let's see. Got some Kelties. Some um, yeah, so some pretty good selections on the um, hiking bags for those of you that are looking for um, a potential bug out bag. Um, they have a pretty reasonable selection. Um, however, these some of these bags can go from, uh, if you can see it, 159 to 179. So about 180 on the bag. Depends on how much you want to spend. Um, and the reason I'm mentioning some of the prices is uh, I made a video about uh, building a basic EDC kit, and um, a couple of trolls decided to go on a it's cheap rampage but as i said before people in an emergency don't care sometimes the average person doesn't care how much something costs just as long as it works okay looks like we got some dish network uh portable uh satellite tv antennas uh for about 300 um Got some, uh, got some boxes up there, Wally boxes for 90 bucks. We also have uh, some little specials here um, for their LED flashlights, nine dollars and eighty-five cents. Let's see, got more bags over here. Oh, there's camel bags. Uh, let's see. Got some folding coolers. All right, I'm not gonna try and spend too much time uh, here. Um, some nice thermoses, and as you can see, the price uh, is usual for what you'd expect on the thermos. Camelbacks, of course. I'm mainly looking for water filtration therm, um, water filtration uh, water bottles, um, which uh, so far I don't see any. I uh, see the hydro flask. Um, but I don't see any that have water filters built in. Uh, of course, you got some hammocks here. Uh, somewhere between 60 and 70 is your price range. Got the heaters, Mr. Heater Buddies. Um, from the small ones, it's about 60. So the large one's about 130 so that's pretty average uh, price for these uh, particular units. Uh, now, of course, we're looking at some uh, 
eatery, um, camp eatery stuff, uh, other uh, camp kitchen items. And what you see is basically the same kind of stuff you find pretty much anywhere that sells camping equipment. So nothing uh, too, uh, nothing really jumps out and catches my uh, eye here. Um, however, I will say this, this uh, first aid kit here, um, they have it for $6.99 here. I've actually seen it, I've seen this exact same one. I've actually bought this exact same thing um, at Walmart for like $3 cheaper. Uh, so they're, they're going to be a little higher on some things. Paracords, so on and so forth. Um, but there's some things uh, like this compass here. Uh, they may be on point about, or maybe, yeah, they're definitely on point about the compasses. Uh, solar shower about a dollar higher than Walmart for the exact same solar shower that Walmart carries. And when I mean the exact same, I mean it's the exact same brand. Okay, let's see what else. Now, um, we're looking at some of the camp stoves. Hello, how you doing? Um, got the uh, camp stove, butane uh, lighting camp stoves. Um, now they have them for about twenty four ninety nine, and they have them all the way up to about um, one hundred and thirty. Um, of course, comparative um, comparing to other places I've seen these. Um, this is actually about the medium price, so um, they're not trying to shaft you so much here. Um, got some uh, solar lanterns, flashlights, so on and so forth. Um, it's actually not that bad of a selection. Um, I've got these. Um, you got some LED moon sticks in here, but I don't see a price for them, so they're probably out of place. Um, charcoal starters, why not? Okay, now the Aqua Tanner, um, seven gallon tanks, they want about $17 for. And, let's see, butane, $349. Uh, so, roughly around the same price for a few of these items. I think they may be a little high on the water containers, um, comparatively to places like, um, and I, I know I'm going to say this, and I may actually get some flack for it, but Walmart. And the reason I say that is because a lot of the same stuff you see in here, like these portable aqua tablets, I'm pretty sure, I don't think I spent $6.99, but I'll double check. Or nine ninety nine, but I'll double check. Um, but a lot of these, a lot of these items you'll find in Walmart um, for the exact same price, if not a little more, a little less. Um, like the uh, Sawyer Mini um, water filtration system, I definitely have seen this in Walmart, uh, just not in so many different colors uh, and so many varieties. But this is going for twenty four ninety nine. This one's going for uh, sixty bucks. And so um, a lot of these I have seen. Um, hold the carrier, same thing. I mean, a lot of these are comparable in price. So, I mean, granted, I am not a big fan of the CEO of Campers World. I think he's a complete idiot for uh, turning his back on uh, Trump supporters and basically saying that he doesn't want them shopping at his store. So be it. I don't buy anything from here, anyways. I'm just doing a review. Um, oh, here's something we don't see at uh, Walmart. Um, I have seen this at like Fry's, um, and that's uh, solar chargers, uh, solar cells, solar cell chargers uh, to charge um, batteries, cell phones, what have you. Um, these are mainly to charge boats, so on and so forth. Uh, looks like that one that's on right now, um, feeding off the uh, lighting here in the store. Um, but looking at the prices, um, you got, let's see, this little dual swivel from $11.99, um, to the solar chargers, um, which are going up to, 
Let's see, this one here is probably one of the bigger ones I've seen. It's at about 450. So, uh, this is definitely one thing that uh, Campers World has that, oh, I'm sorry, Gander Outdoors has it, nobody else has. Um, of course, you got your mountain house. This is usually, and I like to look at the price of uh, the food and, you know, the uh, freeze dried food and how, um, what kind or what brands they use. Um, I know I've seen some stores just carry Mountain House. I've seen other stores that have uh, an interesting variety selection of different brands. And uh, actually, this is about the medium price for um, these packs. So um, they're not going overboard on the price there. Okay. Um, let's see. Now, they have an interesting tent selection. Um, over here in the tents, um, like this uh, three-person dome tent for $39.99, um, which is uh, a really decent price uh, for a tent. Now, they do go up in price. Um, and of course, you know, your Coleman's are going to be pretty higher, uh, pretty much higher than almost every other tent but of course Coleman has earned that reputation um, they're about 160 here venture forward um, which uh, you see their tents right here um, they're about 160 to 200 I'm sorry they these six person tents are about 150 and they go all the way to the eight person uh, wilderness tents which are about two hundred dollars Okay, we got sleeping bags. Uh, well, I'll just give it to you like this. The highest one I'm looking at right now is about 110. Um, but they have them for all uh, conditions, all weather types. Pretty good displays. Ah, now this is something you don't see too often. Um, now, of course, we do have like a Cabela's Bass Pro Shop here. and Actually, we have both Cabela's and Bass Pro Shop here. In Indiana, um, Cabela's not too far from me. Um, but here we are. Uh, we got generators, uh, 4,500 report, $319. Um, how we got this 3,400 one? Uh, the car price is $900 versus the regular price, which is $1,100. Um, And I'm sorry, this is only a members only special. It's 319 regular, 37. I'm sorry, 319, 320 club price. Regular price is 370. So, get an idea of uh, how the generators are going. Then you got the Honda e, E2000 for about 1000. I have to stop at Menards and see Menards or Home Depot, or, uh, one of those stores. To see what their price is on these generators uh, and see how they stack up. Let's see, we have the power converters. Um, let's see, it's a parallel kit. I'm sorry, it's a parallel kit, my fault. Um, for about 90 bucks. More generators. Um, I get the feeling of seeing these or seeing ones uh, just as uh, strong um, at like Menards for cheaper, but like I said, I'll double check the prices on those. Okay, uh, we're looking at smokers here. Now, I'll, I'll just be fair, Ca like uh, Cabell's Bass Pro Shops, which they are owned by the same company, um, their prices are going to be considerably higher on a lot of items. So like for this unit here uh, this is uh, $200 um, but we'll we'll get through all this in a little bit I like how some of these are displayed the one thing I don't like about this uh, store so far is well if you look at it it's kind of bleh it's impersonal there's no no about it. I mean, nothing to get excited about. So, uh, we'll go through the uh, camping cooking section. Um, I probably should spend more time on this. Um,
but okay. I like where they have a lot of things out in the open. But again, the store is very blah. Um, from an aesthetics point of view, I'm not impressed. But, you know, from a products perspective, um, they do have a lot of camping stuff out here. And uh, my wife would love this, the cast iron section. Um, pans and everything of skillets of every size. Um, get your trays here. Um, let's see. Well, we'll go into clothing here. Now, the prices that I've noticed so far. Um, whoa. $10, $23 socks. Um, pretty cool. Um, well, I'll say they're rough. I don't know about some of the price on the socks. Um, but hey, ask my daughter. She'll tell you I'm cheap. Um, but um, depends on uh, how much you want to spend. Um, if you want to spend um, that kind of money on boots and socks, but they're pretty comparable in a lot of ways. In some ways, they're higher than uh, some of your more average outdoor stores. Okay, looking into the um, clothing section. We're, we're by the footwear aisle, but we are getting some of the clearance items here. Oh, I do need to pick up some uh, uh, camo gear because uh, I'm supposed to be going hunting this year. So I do need to go ahead and start looking at some of the stuff. Looking at this hunt's worth here. Started off as thirty nine ninety nine. It's now twenty nine seven ninety seven. So went from four, basically ten dollars off. Uh, same thing here. Nope, twenty dollars off here. It was uh, eighty bucks. Now it's sixty bucks. And then you got some of the pants here. Let's see what do we start off with. The pants were a hundred bucks, and now they're seventy five. I'm not sure how much of a discount that is. Um, I don't know, I'll have to stop at Roll King or uh, Tractor Supply Company, see what they got uh, comparatively. But that's your clearance section for camo. Okay, now we're uh, going to skip past the pet section. Um, but you do have some uh, fake dead fowls here. Um, uh, you know, I think they have some good stuff for pets, so on and forth, so forth. Brushless toothpaste, I've never seen that before. Um, but of course, I don't pay attention to a lot of pet stuff because I don't have any pets. Um, wife wants to go ahead and get a dog, so I probably should start paying attention to this stuff. Um, got some pet traveling bags here. Okay, now we are closing in on my favorite section and probably some of our viewers' um, favorite section. We're closing in on the gun section, our guns and firearms. Well, guns, firearms section. Um, but here we are looking at the safes. Um, I will say from what I've seen of the prices so far, they are um, pretty much... Um, dead on with their competitors um, this one being the stack on total defense uh, 69 um, it actually regularly retails for uh, 1250 uh, the club price is 1187 um, so that's that's the one thing um, I'm gonna say now uh, that I've noticed uh, Blackstone Grill and some accessories for it from uh, propane, baked propane tape. If, you do like, sir? Yeah. Sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. 
Um, okay, here's one thing I've noticed. Um, you want to pay attention to the price. Because if you got one price, that's how much this one is, doesn't matter who you are. Now, on the other hand, if you move down and see something like this, uh, you got two different prices. The club price is more in bold, and if you're not a club member, your regular price, which is a little smaller, is right over here. So, um, keep that in mind. Um, now, this is not all the safes they have. Uh, they also have a lot of um, nifty little gun cases, uh, you know, for 30 bucks here, hard shell cases for 30 bucks. Um, I don't think my gun's gonna be able to fit that case. My gun may be able, <laughs> Christine may be able to fit these cases over here. Oh, wait a minute. I might end up buying this one. I'm gonna have to get this down and look at it. Check it out. Oh, wait, it's right here. Um, but we got more safes over here. And again, uh, from what I've seen, these are pretty much pretty standard. And roughly like the same price as the average um, store. Uh, like if you compare it to anyone else, it's about the same. Let's see. This uh, case might be about the size uh, that I need for uh, my AR. So yeah, I'll definitely have to come grab one of these. I know what I said, but Hey, you know, I try to look for gun cases for my rifles. And sometimes it's hard to find one for Christine. She's a big gun. Okay. Got some smaller safes here. Um, they're roughly, you know, um, you got your pretty standard average price on these. Um, so they're not trying to... I can actually say they're not trying to cheat you. Now, from a political standpoint, you know, if you agree with the um, CEO of uh, Camping World, or then knock yourself out. Um, it, you know, buy all kinds of stuff from their stores. If you don't, well, um, then by all means, vote with your wallet and don't don't buy anything from them. Um, I'm a Trump supporter, but at the same time, uh, I'll be as cheap as I can be. So if somebody has something cheap, I might take a look at it. Um, does it mean I'll buy it? Not necessarily. Okay, now. Now, in case you probably wondered, uh, I've been asked if I, if I need any help, and, you know, I'm not the one to completely turn it down, but at the same time, if I need help, I'll ask, more than likely, but that's just me. I, I like to go around with the don't bug me um, button on. Um, oh, here we go. Some shooter accessories. I've been looking at um, hearing equipment uh, for my daughter. She's... Uh, we're building her uh, her range bag right now, um, so we're looking for headphones. Um, the cheapest, I will say, that I'm seeing here so far is about 15 bucks for hearing protection, um, which that puts them in the same range as like I'll say it, Walmart um, hearing protection. The cheapest I'm seeing it so far is about. Um, 350 so and you can get some yeah so there's they're about average price on a lot of things uh, eye protection um, the cheapest is about uh, five bucks believe it or not it's over here um, and you can actually go all out and spend about 18 bucks on them or even more if you want a little variety. Alright. Um, got a pretty good uh, 
gun care selection. Now, um, I, I wish I did this when I was um, in South Bend earlier um, this month, um, but it was a small store and I had never been in there before. And I know some people kind of get a little weird when you start um, videotaping inside store. So I took a few pictures. Um, now we're looking at the firearms here and um, trying not to get too close to where they start asking me um, if I need help every five seconds. But looking at the uh, let's see selection here. They're a pretty decent selection of uh, handguns. Uh, Maz, well, maybe just as big as it when they were Gander Mountain, but this used to stretch all the way to the end. So they've uh, changed a few things, which is okay. Um, so we're getting an idea of how much. Uh, now, let's see, these are Kimbers. Okay, it's about the standard price for a Kimber. Uh, Ruger 1911, about seven. Um, I'll know how we're doing when we look at the Glock section. Let's see, high point, 148. How you doing? All right, how you doing? Cool, anything I can help you find today? Uh, not offhand. But I'll let you know. Um, okay, uh, looks like I'm looking at a brand new Glock 21. It's going for um, the club price. Hey, here we go with the club price. The club price for this Glock 21 is 556. The regular price is 585. So, um, now I usually don't look at high points, but reason I looked at those because when I was in South Bend um, they had high points for like a hundred dollars more than what they got here here there are about 155 for a brand new one at this place in South Bend they had it for over 200 out for like 270 something I thought I was I looked at it I was like that is outrageous so they were higher in the price uh, up in South Bend however here um, they seem pretty on track with the market standard. Uh, as their selection, they have a very impressive selection of shotguns. Um, now, 